The automation industry is quickly developing a skill shortage. After the current generation retires, where will the new engineers and technicians come from to operate future factories and process plants? In the old days, process engineering skills had to be acquired through a long apprenticeship. But today, we must understand that new engineers and technicians will be completely different. They've grown up with computers and cell phones and PDAs and software and computer games. And some computer games are more complex than control systems. By comparison, control software is a cakewalk. Sadly, Large companies are still measuring progress by obsolete learning standards. So bright youngsters shun jobs in factories and process plants and go off looking for other careers. ISA is working diligently on programs for certified automation professionals, CAP. Here's the key question. Will people who are CAP certified be recognized with higher pay and faster advancement. If they are, CAP is worthwhile. If they are not, CAP certification is useless. ISA's challenge is to convince employers about CAP. If it goes with bigger pay, engineers will work hard for it. Otherwise, it's just eyewash and will be shrugged off. Automation guru Dick Molly suggests that getting young people to be interested in automation jobs requires a different mindset. Pay scales must change to encourage the brightest and the best to become engineers. Manufacturing people must be considered as professionals. Heroes of engineering and manufacturing must be recognized. Future factories must be bright and stimulating places where people enjoy working and the jobs are challenging and rewarding. Today's young people are smart and even brash. They like to work, but unlike their parents, they don't want work to be their entire lives. If these young people can be attracted, they are the automation engineers and technicians of tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying these regular video summaries of Pinto's points in your weekly InTech e-news. I'd appreciate some feedback. Send me an email to jim at jimpinto.com. Thank you.